Welcome to Coach's Corner with Paul Ibarra, a place for real talk, nuggets, and motivation to get you rocking. If you like his content, drop him a review and send him an email with any questions at recoverycoach at setfreelife.net. Now, here's your host, Paul Ibarra. What's going on, everybody? Pastor Paul here from Set Free Life Church. I want to thank you for joining in once again on Coach's Corner here on Apple um, Podcast, or if you're on Spotify or iHeartRadio, I want to thank you for all of your support. And those who are subscribed to our blog blogcast, I just want to thank you once again for continuing to stay faithful and uh, receiving these emails and giving us your feedback on um, the word that we're bringing this season for you. So one thing that I want to talk about this week uh, today for our Monday motivation is this is that uh, just in case you did not get the word this Sunday on Facebook Live, I'm going to touch on Palm Sunday this morning. So for you, it's it's a Monday morning, right? But for us, uh, which was today, which is for you yesterday, um, the word was really about how Jesus' journey into Jerusalem, knowing that he was going to die for every single one of our sins. And though we're going through this coronavirus season and, you know, taking precautions with face masks and uh, hunkering down and people losing their jobs and people getting laid off or having to do unemployment or just really rationing things in life, in our everyday life, in our pantries, in our refrigerators, and having to tell our kids no or slow down on certain foods or wherever things are scarce, we have to really truly remember that this is the season for Jesus. All right. This is the the place in time where Jesus, as we remember back, was going through. And that's why they call it Palm Sunday, because the people were cheering Hosanna, the king to the highest. And I know that I'm paraphrasing, but this is a place in time where Jesus was coming through. The crowds were cheering him on. Everyone is rejoicing because their savior is now here because before he was Lord, before he was teacher. But now that they recognize and know that this was the prophecy that was talked about in the Old Testament, and now they're witnessing it for their own eyes, in their own eyes, being able to understand, oh my God, this is it. This is the time. This is the Jesus that every Everyone's talking about. So they're rejoicing. They just saw Lazarus being ra- risen from the dead. They saw blind eyes open. They saw deaf mute uh, ears popped open. They saw these things going on in the past with Jesus Christ. And not, now they're in that moment where they're watching him walk through their situation on a donkey and they're giving him praise. So how do we tie that into what where we are today, Right. How do we tie that into the now? So in this season right now, in this place right now that we're in, was something that was prophesied and spoken over our lives 20, 30, 40 years ago, our parents, our grandparents, our um, you know, elders in the church or whatever denomination that you come from were saying, you, this is the generation that you're going to see these things happen. We couldn't even fathom it. We couldn't even understand it. We couldn't even perceive what was going to go on. Heck, in the 80s, we didn't even know what the year 2000 was going to look like. We were afraid that computers were going to shut down, that there was going to be mass destruction and chaos and all this stuff. And it didn't happen, right? And so we continue to live life. There are no floating cars. We don't walk around in spacesuits, but we are walking around looking like we're contaminated. (laughs) <laughs> and so these are some of the things that were talked about, right? And so now we're in that time. We're in that time in the place of, oh my God, this is a thing that was prophesied about. This is what was talked about. And we are actually that generation that's living in it. And so the same thing that Jesus was doing was walking through their situation. He's walking through that situation right now. And so we have to stop for just two seconds in our daily walk today. And come back to the realization of this. Yes, we're going through some hell right now. Yes, we're going through some difficult times. Yes, we're going through the places that we really don't want to be in. But the truth be told, without Jesus Christ, we wouldn't even be able to touch this season. 
We wouldn't even be able to touch this situation because we'd probably be bound to drugs and alcohol down and out saying, you know what? It's the end of the world. So we're just going to party like it's 1999 or in this day and age, 2021, right? We're just going to party in a whole different realm, in a whole different way. We're just not going to care. We're just going to continue to do life like we've always done it. But if I could be honest, and if you could be honest, Jesus is walking through our situation right now. He is walking through our situation and he's letting us know, listen, I know there's a coronavirus. I know there's junk going on. I know there's craziness. I know you have to wear a mask, but I want you to continue to live because I have a plan and a purpose for you. And this is why I died on the cross for you. I saw you 2000 years ago, 2000 plus years ago. And I said, I, I am going to continue to die for Polly Barra. I'm going to go to that cross for Joe Smith. I'm going to go to that cross for Ashley. I'm going to go to that cross for Tina. I'm going to go to that cross for Chrissy. I'm going to go to that cross for Holly. I'm going to go to that cross for Set Free Life Church. I'm going to go to that cross for whatever church you go to. And he didn't give up the mission. And so why do we give up the mission? Why are we sitting here downcast and worried and, and stressed out when you know what? Just as, just as God provided manna, he's going to bro- provide every single need that we have in our day to day. So the point for today is this. Jesus is walking through your situation. Jesus wants you to reach out to him. Even the Pharisees in that passage of scripture, I believe it was John 12, 9 through 19, where the Pharisees themselves even stopped for a minute and spoke among themselves and said, listen, all the stuff that we've been doing, we ain't done it right. But look at him. Everybody's following him. So that's where we're at today. This is where it's key to understand that Jesus Christ is walking through the crowd. But he wants you to understand that he's walking through it prophetically to save you, to become Lord and Savior over your life. This isn't a time for churches to come against churches. This isn't a time for us to act like we're the Apostle Paul, because we're not. You're not. I'm not. We're in a whole different era, baby. It's a whole different beast that we're up against. However, it's the same God that we serve. And so if we would just put our pompous minds away, if we would put our religious mindsets away and just totally understand and know that God has a plan and a purpose, he's got everything taken care of. All we've got to do is like the Pharisee said, is follow him. So where are you at today? What are you willing to give up in your life to receive more of him? What are you thinking about when you're thinking about what you think about? You've got to get past that. You've got to look past the situation that you're in right now. You've got to allow Jesus Christ to lead and guide you by the Holy Spirit. He said it himself. I'm leaving now. I've got to leave you, but I'm sending another, your comforter, the Holy Spirit that will lead, guide, and protect you into all truth. And so I want you to understand that today, that everything that is going on, it's not a surprise to God. Jesus ain't surprised that coronavirus is in the atmosphere. But it's our job today that if you need to wear a mask, wear a mask. If you need to wear them gloves, wear gloves. If you need to stay hunkered down, stay hunkered down. If you need to go bless somebody, then go bless somebody. But listen, this is a time that we really, truly trust exactly what God is doing in our lives. Amen. So this is Pastor Paul, your Set Free Life Church coach. Reach out to me if you need me at setfreelife.net. I pray that this has blessed you this week. Let's rock this thing called life, guys, because that's all we got is this one life. Amen. I'll see you on the next one. God bless.